Here's a um, word problem to create a function. We're not going to be solving for anything, but we're going to uh, design a function, and most people have a problem with that. This is like one of my most favorite you know, types of questions, so you can expect to see it on the test. Um, I always, you know, farmers, gotta love them. A farmer has 2,500 feet of fencing materials. He wants to create a field that is partitioned in the middle to contain his cattle, um, but he wants to separate his cows and bulls and we want to create a function dependent on one of the lengths of the sides. It doesn't matter which side, but um, I usually go with X. So here we're going to have a rectangular field. I'll just draw a sketch of it right here. It's going to be ugly. And this rectangular field, we want to divide down the middle, so one side has the cows and the other side has the bulls. And again, just like any other word problem, we want to discuss what we don't know rather than what we do off the bat. So what I don't know is the dimensions of this big rectangle. So I'm going to call this side x, and I'm going to call this side y, uh, x feet and y feet. Of course, I drew this a little bit better with my computer, so here's my little picture. Um, so x feet along the horizontal, y feet along the vertical, and here's my cows and here's my bulls, and they're separated down here in the middle. So what I need to do is use the information in my problem to figure out some kind of equation. And the only value that I'm given is this 2,500 2, feet of fencing. That's going to be the amount of this brown line, including this middle piece here. So that's kind of like a perimeter. So I'm going to start off with my 2,500 feet of fencing, and it's going to have to equal the dimensions of this fence here. Well, I'm going to get x feet along this way, y feet here, another x feet there, another y feet here, plus a third y here. So this is going to come out to be two of my x's plus three of my y's. This is called a constraint. We don't have any more fencing than 2,500 feet. So whatever I choose for x and y, this side of the equation has to add up to 2,500. Now, Oh, I forgot what kind of function. A function of area. I want to create a function of area because, well, if you're a farmer and you have a certain amount of fencing, you want to maximize the area that you're going to contain these cows and bulls in. Um, so area is going to be kind of an important part of this. Now, the area of a rectangle is length times width, and the length here is x, and the width here is y. Well, that's not a function. It has way too many variables. It has a, x, and y. It has three variables. Uh, we usually want a function with only two variables. Um, in this case, we can't get rid of the a. That's going to be part of our function. So I have to kind of either remove the x or the y. Well, not necessarily remove it, but at least substitute it away. So what I'm going to use is this constraint up here. There's a relationship between x and y um, that we can play with to substitute out, um, I think in this case we're going to substitute out the x. So what you do is you take your constraint equation with 2500 is equal to 2x plus 3y and you solve for either of the variables. It really doesn't matter which one. Um, I'm going to choose to solve for x. Uh, you can solve for y also, it really doesn't matter. So if I solve for x, I'm going to get 2x is equal to 2500 minus 3y, subtract 3y from both sides, and then divide everything by 2. So we're going to get 2500 minus 3y, all divided by 2. That's perfectly fine. If you want, you can separate it. You can do the uh, 2500 divided by 2, get your 1250, and you can write this as uh, 1250 but you have to be careful. It's now going to be minus 3 halves y. That 2 has to divide both terms. So now I can take this and substitute it back into this equation. So I'm going to get an area function in terms of y. I'm going to substitute the x with 1250 minus 3 halves y, and then finally bring my y down here. And I can simplify this. It's an area function in terms of the side y uh, of 1250 minus 3 halves, I'm sorry, back up, 
1250y minus 3 halves y squared after distribution. Later in the um, book, we're going to find out how to maximize this uh, rectangular pen um, to benefit the cows and bulls, give them you know, as much area as possible.